I used to wear many hats, a successful business person, an entrepreneur, and even an inventor. Life was bustling until 1999 when alcohol took its grip on me. It was a turning point. That year, I found myself in Madison, Wisconsin, seeking treatment and hope. The latter part of 1999 was marked by my commitment to getting better. Eight days into the treatment program, a strange episode unfolded. As I lay in slumber, a mysterious seizure befell me, puzzling the doctors. While my physical self was unaware, I suddenly found myself observing from a vantage point above. Looking downwards, I saw my own form sprawled on the floor. It was an odd sight. Paramedics working diligently, three concerned friends by my side. What struck me was that this scene, though seemingly important, no longer held any emotional grip on me. Values had shifted, and even my own body seemed distant and insignificant. As I continued to observe, a surreal shift occurred. Slowly I started to move away, seemingly through the very walls that enclosed me. Passing through a dark rectangle, which turned out to be a wooden stud in the wall, I entered a realm of consciousness that defied my earthly understanding. It was an entirely new dimension, and I knew that something immensely powerful was at play, a force beyond human comprehension, a divine presence. This was the very God I had struggled to fathom in my earthly existence. In this altered state, the sensations I encountered were unlike anything I'd ever known. Physical boundaries dissolved. I lacked a body, yet I was not falling into the abyss. My faculties remained intact, and the gift of reasoning persisted. The emotions that surged through me defied human description, as if my consciousness had tapped into a frequency beyond mortal comprehension. The experience left me awestruck, forever altering my perspective and understanding of existence. At that moment I felt the presence of my Creator, and that my struggle to believe in a God on earth was over. My God was taking me, and it felt so good. I felt no pain anymore nor any of the other miseries felt on earth, including time. There was no time. I was in total comfort. Through this God gave me a feeling but no sight of something, some place that was so horrible for those that rejected Him on earth. To this day I carry that same feeling. After all this, as I was moving toward an opening or something, something I could not make out yet, I was just entering His light, different from what we know on earth, when God spoke to me, in a voice unlike any on earth. It was all telepathic between us, but was like talking on earth. God then asked me a question. Is there anything worthy of me to go back for? Instantly there was only one thing that came to me. It was the woman in my life who I loved so much. My love for her expressed the same love that he was all about. I replied, my Nancy. I'd never felt this type of love for anything or anybody in my life except for her. At that moment, I reversed my floating and I followed my path back to my body, where I felt this heavy pounding on my chest. As I started to awaken, I could barely see the two paramedics over me. I was in a semi-conscious state all the way to the hospital and in two hours in an emergency. As I was coming to, I didn't know what happened to me because I'd been asleep through all this. A doctor had come in who was treating me and said he couldn't diagnose what happened. Minutes after that, the two paramedics came in to see if I was all right. It was at this time that I just started to realize something. As the paramedics turned to walk away, I saw the backsides of their heads and realized that I had seen the backside of them before. I couldn't have seen them before as I did without being behind them somewhere. As I was recuperating for hours in an emergency, I started getting bits and pieces of what seemed to be a dream I had. This went on for hours until I realized I had died, and it was no dream. It was amazing, but I was given all the feelings that I felt on the other side through this recall. While back in the treatment center, I asked my friends about what had happened and where they were standing while I was on the floor. They told me exactly what I saw from the other side. I realized what a thin layer exists between life and death, which I consider now as life after life. Dreams are forgotten, but this was no dream. It's almost 12 years now since this happened, and to this day, when I lay down to sleep, I immediately find myself reliving that venture. Throughout the day, I will find myself back there for only a moment. Though this didn't change my life so much at the time, it was several years later, that brilliant light the same light of God came out of the sky and was shown to me in my backyard. Perhaps the Holy Spirit. In a moment my life changed. The meaning of my trip to the other side became apparent. 
I now know what loving and helping one another was all about. I finally knew the true meaning of humility, and that earthly things absolutely don't matter to me anymore. I became possessed with undoing the wrongs of my life and replacing them with all good things in the eyes of God. I believe all this to be true and correct, and nobody can take this away from me or change my mind about it. Thank you for finally sharing this experience and perhaps enlightening others.